Hello, I'm Kevin Frender with Black Dog LED, and today I'd like to talk to you about an aspect of spectrum of light that's very important to plants, specifically infrared or far red light. So far red or infrared light is defined as light that's above 700 nanometers. This is light that our human eyes don't perceive or can't see very well, if at all. Um, some of us can see some of it close to 700 nanometers, but it looks very, very dim at that point. Even if the light source is actually very bright, we perceive it as being very dim. Now plants see it a little bit differently. Above 700 nanometers doesn't always trigger uh, photosynthesis in plants, uh, but it actually can help out with photosynthesis. And the reason why is there's actually two separate what are called photosystems in a plant's leaf that are responsible for turning light into energy. And these two photosystems actually have to work together to capture photons, convert them into intermediate chemicals basically in the leaf, and then they work together to bind these together and create sugars that are actually the store of energy that plants use. Now photosystems working together both of them can actually absorb light in between 400 and 700 nanometers and use that for their photosynthesis. However, one of the photosystems can actually absorb light above 700 nanometers in this far red or infrared region and use that to help its photosynthesis. And a scientist named Emerson back in the 1950s actually did studies on plants where he discovered that if you give plants what we perceive as visible light between 400 and 700 nanometers, they grow pretty well. But if you give them that visible light plus this far red infrared light above 700 nanometers, they actually grow much better because it gets the two photosystems working together more efficiently. That's why since the very first black dog LED light we've put out over 11 years ago, we always include this infrared or far red light that can't even be seen by human eyes because it actually helps maximize the amount of photosynthesis that the plants can achieve. And of course, with maximum photosynthesis, you increase your yields, along with manipulating spectrum in other ways. There's a bunch more topics I can talk about with spectrum, so check back for other videos, or you can always check out our website at blackdogled.com. Thanks. <laughs>